This is the solution to written homework 50. Okay, so in the first place, let's find the critical points. So, uh, the domain of F is the whole plane. Uh, that is to say that there's no divisions or square roots or anything like that. So, <coughs> uh, in particular, F is a polynomial in two variables. So it's defined everywhere. So let's compute its partials. Okay, the x partial is, well, the derivative of x squared over 2 is x. The derivative of 2xy is 2y. Derivative of negative 7x is negative 7. And then all zeros. So the y partial, uh, that would be 2x. Uh, plus, uh, so the derivative of y squared over 2 is just y, and then that 3 is hanging out, so plus 3y, and then minus 11. <coughs> okay, so then these, these are always defined. So we don't need to worry about any uh, non-smooth critical points. All the critical points will be smooth. So what we want to do in the end is to solve the equation, uh, both partials equal to 0. Solve the system of equations. So x plus 2y minus 7 equal to 0, and also 2x plus 3y minus 11 equal to 0. So we want to solve both of these simultaneously. So I'll call that equation 1 and that one equation 2. <coughs> so uh, we can do this in a variety of ways. I will, uh, in the from equation 1, I'll solve for x uh, as follows. So I can do x plus 2y minus 7 equal to 0. That's equation 1. I'll move all the other stuff to the other side. So that we have x is negative 2y plus 7. And now I'll put that into equation 2. So 2 and then now I'm going to put all that stuff in, negative 2y plus 7, uh, and then plus 3y minus 11 is 0. So now I'll simplify this, uh, negative 4y plus 14 plus 3y minus 11 is 0, and so now I'll combine uh, terms. So That'd be negative y, and then plus 3 is 0, so y is 3. And now we want to figure uh, y is 3. <clears throat> and now we want to um, figure out what x is. So now we're going to back substitute. We'll take this uh, y, for example, and put it into there. 
and obtained that x is negative 2, and then we said y was 3, so negative 2 times 3, and then plus 7, well that's negative 6 plus 7, so that's 1, and therefore the critical, the one and only critical point is the point 1, 3. <coughs> okay. So then now we want to classify this with the second partials test. Well, in order to use the second partials test, we'll need the second partials themselves. So the xx partial is 1. The yy partial is 3. <clears throat> the xy partial is, uh, so x and then y, so that would be 2. And the yx partial is uh, y and then x, also 2. Okay, therefore our classifier, h, is the product of the pure partials at 1, 3. Minus <coughs> the either the product of the mixed partials, but because the mixed partials are the same, we can just square either one of them. So it is 1 times 3 minus uh, 2 squared so that h is negative 1. <coughs> so as a result, as a result, uh, the point 1, 3 is a saddle. Which is to say, uh, if we were to attempt to draw it, it would look something like this. Let's try it a little harder here. point one three in the plane the point one three maps <coughs> to a saddle surface. So this is the surface. Z is f of x and y. <coughs> <coughs> 